Stephen, let's start off with the, with the obvious. The, the world is against us. Uh, Darvel had a fantastic result in the last round. What's the, the kind of mood like going into the camp and how difficult is it to be the, to be the bad guys? Yeah, it was a strange one because obviously, I mean, this, this isn't a third tier in Scotland Football Club, but it is where we are at the minute. And uh, it gives up a lot, of uh, a lot of boys a chance to get to Scottish Cup quarterfinal, which uh, a lot of them haven't done. And it's not spoken about enough how big it is for us. I mean, there is. Uh, I mean, if we if we if we were to put out Darvel, we would probably become the underdog in the next round. So it's all the, it's all part and parcel of the cup competitions. We understand the the romance of the Dar Dar Darvel story and we respect it. It's a brilliant victory against Aberdeen, but um, we know what we need to do. There's been a a bit of a kind of media spotlight on this one during the week. Have, have you noticed it in the build up at all? Yeah, well, I mean. Davo played in the last round and enjoyed watching the game. Thought it was a good game. Um, I think a lot of people did enjoy it, as well as the kind of big result, big shock that pulled off. It was a good game of football, and uh, I think I think it's going to be that as, again. I think we, everyone knows we like to play football. Davo showed they play good football, so we're going to go at each other, and it's hopefully going to be a good game. Because of the bottleneck in the pyramid at the moment, uh, I can't help but feel there's some really good football insides down in the Lowland League, for example, um, but they're going to take time for to kind of find their own level. Will we be talking in two or three years' time about Darvel being where Falkirk are now? Yeah, I expect it. I mean, um, I think, I mean, there's no, there's no getting away from it, but a lot of boys, league players have dropped out of the league to, because Darvel are paying them more money than they, they get in the league. And that's just the facts of it. And I think that Barn losing to in the playoff final last year, they'd be a Lowland League team already. So we we to totally respect. I mean, I've got a few ex teammates that shouldn't be at that level they're playing at. So I know what to expect from from their quality and and what they can bring to the game. So yeah, um, we know what we're getting into. We, it will not be for a lack of preparation uh, if things don't go well in the night. And that's perhaps the key bit because, with all due respect, a lot of the fans maybe still aren't quite fully au fait with the Darvel squad but as you say it takes you two minutes on Google to see actually these guys have all played in, in the top four leagues and, and done pretty well. Yeah and um, uh, as everyone knows the manager he's very in depth very thorough so if any of the fans want to ask about any of the Darvel players I'm sure we can we can help them out because we have done a lot of work and we've watched a lot of them and um, as I said it's the way the manager works there'll be no if we're losing the night, it might be a refereeing decision. It might be Davo just outplaying us in the night. It will not be for us looking down on, on the level of football Davo play at, and it will not be for a lack of respect. What can we expect in the 90 minutes? I think it'll be a good game. I do. I think we'll we'll, we'll go for Davo. They'll come for us, and um, I'm expecting goals. I always fancy us to score goals, but um, under the lights on the telly, it's to get to the quarterfinal of the Scottish Cup. You can't really beat it. The manager mentioned something in his post-match interview when he said that, you know, from a stadium perspective, the fans will be so close to the pitch, there might be a little bit of intimidation factor. I mean, t to me, showing my age, that, that reminds me of Brockville. Uh, will it be a, a new experience for, for some of the boys, though? No, I think well, we, we, we probably maybe, maybe it caused Aberdeen a bit of a, a problem, but we, we're quite used to it now. Um, obviously, as they say, we don't want to be this level of football, but it is what it is, and it's a type of... Um, atmosphere we used to from Kelty, um, even the other night at Alawa, so it won't be a, a new thing for us. Obviously the last round, uh, two rounds ago we were up at Wick, so we were battle hardened in terms of the fans being uh, in shouting distance, so uh, yeah we're ready for it. Obviously you mentioned the, the kind of shock against Aberdeen and let's be honest it was a fantastic result that Darvel had. Um, if you're going to stop Darvel playing and impose your own game, what's going to be the key to that? I think, I mean, we want to make it a cup tie. I mean, we, we respect, we, as I said, we respect how they played in the last game. We know we're not going to get it all our own way. Um, we're both going to want to be the ones with the ball. Um, so we work on how we can get more of that. The more of the ball we see, the more dangerous we are. So um, that's how we'll approach the game. Um, as I said, we'll, we'll work hard on uh, trying to stop what they did to Aberdeen. Um, but at the same time, we've got a lot of pace in the team. We've got a lot of attacking threats. So... We're excited for it. You're talking about excitement there. Is there always excitement for a cup game? I'm never sure from a player's perspective. Is it a is it a welcome break from the league or is it a distraction from the league? What's your thoughts? I mean, I don't want to go back to it, but the other night was a real kick in the teeth. It was a it was a sickener, really. It's one of those after a night game you can't really 
think about and ultimately that for, you, you wanted to play the next league game the next day to get that out of your system. But you were kicking the dog for three days, weren't you? I can tell. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a sore one. It's, uh, I mean, we, we didn't deserve probably the three points on the night, but when you get the goal the way we did, then you think what a win this would be. So it was a sore one, but that's, I suppose that is gone now. We, it is a bit cup and I know it is a cliche, but uh, we are two games away from, from Hamden. Uh, a national semi-final um, of the of the best cup competition, so it's hard not to get excited about that. It's hard not to th dream about it. So as I'm sure the Davo boys are, um, so and then the way the draw works, all of a sudden you think you're maybe going to Pataudry, and next minute you're going down to Ayrshire. So we know that anything can happen in, the, in these cup competitions. And that's the thing. Just finally, you mentioned there, you know, that the kind of footballer's dream is always, you know, you want to go to Hamden, you want to play in games and some of these big matches. What would it mean to you personally and the boys in the dressing room should you overcome Darville, which is, you know, no, uh, no given. But uh, if we did manage to do it, what would it mean? I mean, you spend a lot of time as a footballer, you spend a lot of time thinking. You think, I mean, you join in the summer, you think about how good it would be to lift the league trophy. You think about, as you say, you, you, you dream the... You, you dream the nice stuff. Yep. The reality is, there's a lot of work to do to get to this stage. A lot of luck, a lot of uh, real hard work, and we, I'm under no illusion how tough it's going to be at times on Monday night. We're going to have to run hard. We're going to have to win battles, and we're going to have to bring our, our game. And um, as as the other night showed us, other teams work really, really hard to stop you playing the way you want to play, and it's not always easy. So we're going to have to get to a level where um, Davo don't enjoy it. Well, Stephen, good luck for the game, and uh, as always, thanks for your time. Thanks, Liz.